Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Hope wherever you are, you're feeling relaxed and I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, so yeah, so today um, I will be doing a first impressions. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing, but I got interrupted, so I couldn't. Um, so I haven't smelt it, so you we'll, we'll smell it together. But um, so today we are looking at this fragrance, Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Those of you who watch me know I do own the other three versions, the original, Leger and Supreme. Sup Supreme was released last year. Supreme is my favourite of all, you know, the three that I've tried. Um, it's, I think it's red berries. Um, it's got a touch of the DNA in the opening of the original, but it has this lovely pastry vibe. And um, there's something about it that's very pastry which I really, really enjoy. And I would actually put that fragrance, Supreme, as one of my top maybe 20, 30 perfumes. So, yeah. Uh, so those of you who know me or watch me, shall I say, know that I do, I'm a bit of a, I don't know if collector is the right word or I do like to get flankers of perfumes. But um, I did decide that this year I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go and try every single flank of perfumes that I owned. Just because I own quite a lot, I do want to reduce um, and want to have like a round figure. So if it's 100, I want it to be 100. I think I'm like 120 something. So I kind of need to get rid of 20 plus to kind of make way for what's coming up. All right. So um, I've had to open the lid. I haven't smelt it. It's just because it was hard for me to take it off with one hand. Obviously, it's new. So um it, I mean, it was quite a struggle, so I was like, oh, let me just film again. So, um, comes in this, so the bottle is red with the black. So, I don't know, depends. Maybe they should have gone for all red. I don't know, but it's one of those things. Maybe if you lose this on one of them, <laughs> you could just always replace it. Um, the bottle is not clear, like, I thought it would be clearer. Looking at pictures online, like, gla almost glass-like, like the Leger. But no, this one, you can actually see the juice in it. So it's not completely um, opaque. Um, so that makes it maybe a bit more nicer. But yeah, it's a bit odd. Okay, right. So we know that. So from what I remember, um, I don't think this is on for granted. Um, this was, um, I found the notes on, I think it's IG Fragrance or something like that um it's a page and they show you all the new perfumes that are being released and the notes they said was so it was lychee in the top the middle was rose the bottom i believe was tonka bean and vetiver so it has this from what i remember it had the same base notes as the supreme so there and there wasn't much notes listed um, so the main reason actually guys why I bought this fragrance why I went for this flank is because I'm really into lychee I, I, It's really grown on me. Um, when I first tried over no Angel Nova, I was a bit like mmm But I really enjoyed that fragrance and they both have the rose and lychee So I thought I was going for it and I did really enjoy Supreme as I've said. Right, so let's test this out Is it worth buying a flanker? One second. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Right, so guys. Ooh, that lychee really is... Um, The lychee's strong in this, guys. It's strong. I was... I was actually expecting this to be a bit weaker... If, I don't know if that makes sense. Like a order at a toilet. Any, let me just say EDT. I know I butchered that, but I noticed with good the good girl the fragrances they are quite sort of strong. They're not all like EDTs. Okay, well, okay. So right, you get lychee, a bit like Angel Nova. But this one smells maybe less less synthetic. I hope I'm right. 
it's yeah it's more okay maybe more sweeter maybe a little bit more yes okay this is sorry guys this is juicier than angel nova oh okay i can smell i believe it's vetiver i get the same bakery note that or vibe that i get in the supreme if you like supreme if you love imagine okay a mix between angel nova and carolina good girl supreme bro um i'm not detecting the rose yet guys Sorry guys, I'm I'm just here sniffing myself. I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know actually. I'm not sure if this there's just something that is um I don't know. It's quite sharp. Maybe sharp. There's a guys. I don't know. There's a sharpness to it that I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. I don't know. To be fair, I wasn't sure about Angel Nova, but I think with Angel Nova, it was like, I was a bit like, oh, okay. Is that it? But with this one, it's a bit different. Um, The lychee's there. I've got that pastry note. And I'm getting just something else. Which I'm finding a hard time to describe to you guys. Like I don't know if I have a perfume that will. That smells like it. Okay. You're just hearing me sniff myself. I'm so sorry guys. Um. Okay I think. As. Hmm. There's a note which is very sharp. Guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I wish I could. I wonder if the, I'm just trying to figure out if I've ever had a fragrance that has this note in it. I really like, I did enjoy the opening. I enjoyed the pastry note. I'm not sure. I think that's what I'm going to, going to leave it as. I'm going to do a whole video, so I will give you more of my thoughts on it. I'm sure you don't want to just hear me sniff myself. It's an interesting one. Um, whilst I do think Angel Nova was a safe blind buy... This one, I'm not sure, guys. I think test this out. That's just... I don't know. There's just another note in there, which is... I don't know. I need to play around with it a bit more. Oh, well, I'm a bit disappointed, guys. I don't know. May Ooh, maybe I just need to give it some... I'll give it some time, guys, before I completely write it off. But um, I say, go. Don't know what it is. Test it out. Test it out. Right. So UK people, um, I got this from the perfume shop. So if you do want to check it out, um, you can get it there. Unfortunately, there wasn't any discount. I think because it's a new fragrance, there wasn't any discount. I don't know where else it is in the UK. I haven't checked. Um. So yeah, but yeah guys um i don't know is this a question mark <laughs> i did like the opening it is a strong fragrance you you get that from the beginning if it's i won't say it's a beast mode i'll say whenever i say it's a strong fragrance let's just think of a designer fragrance which is strong and that's the way for you to maybe look at it yeah guys i think yeah um, so I've got another one, um, another review, God willing, coming this week. Uh, sorry, first impressions. 
Um, I'm hoping that will be better. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's a bit of a question mark. I do think do think before you sort of rush. Actually, I'm supposed to get samples. I'm sure I ordered samples of these. I am sure I ordered some samples. And there's no samples. Like, what? Okay, right, guys. <laughs> Have a good day, time. Ta ra for now.